Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Shadia Rafidge. I'm a board certified veterinary surgeon. This video is part two of our cranial cruciate ligament disease series. I hope this video adds to your current understanding of this condition in dogs and allows you to make an informed decision regarding your pet's care. Always follow the recommendations of your veterinarian or veterinary specialist closely. Today we will focus on one of the many different corrective surgical techniques used for repairing the cranial cruciate ligament rupture or CCL in dogs. This technique is called the lateral suture technique. Now just to get you up to speed, please watch part one of this series by clicking on the link below. The lateral suture technique replaces the torn ligament with a prosthetic, as shown here. This prosthetic will allow for scar tissue to form over time, thereby stabilizing the knee. The prosthetic can be made from many different materials depending on the preference of the surgeon. This implant is placed in an orientation that mimics the original ligament, and the prosthetic is placed around the fibella, through the tibia, brought beneath the patella tendon, and then it is tied to itself, as shown here. Usually, one or two of these prosthetics will be placed depending on the surgeon preference and the individual patient. Now, over the next six weeks after surgery, the prosthetic will aid in stabilizing the knee. After that time period, scar tissue will continue to form, further stabilizing the knee. By about 10 to 12 weeks after surgery, the implant may or may not contribute further to stability, but enough healing has occurred that will stabilize the knee. This implant is meant to remain in the patient for life and rarely does it need to be removed. Removal of the implant, however, should not reverse the surgery, although this is entirely dependent on the pet. The majority of dogs are hospitalized after surgery for about 24 hours to ensure a complete and safe anesthetic recovery. This also will help maximize the comfort of the pet after surgery and ensure that they are eating well and feeling good before going home. Upon discharge from the hospital, the surgical staff will review the discharge instructions, the medications, aftercare involved, and further follow-up that's required of you. Some pets will go home with a bandage and some will not. It is vital that the post-operative instructions are followed carefully to avoid any complications. Aside from the generic complications that can occur with any anesthesia or orthopedic surgery, there are some complications unique to this procedure that can occur. The prosthetic can slip or tear. Other ligaments can become traumatized, including the meniscus ligament, which is also found in the knee. Infection of the incision can occur. Infection of the prosthetic can also develop if the patient licks the incision. The prosthetic itself can result in re rejection or reaction by the patient, requiring removal of the implant. Overall, the surgery has an excellent outcome, with the majority of dogs healing fully and being able to resume normal activity. Arthritis will form in these pets, but the amount of arthritis and how much it affects the pet will, will be unique to your own individual dog. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my next video regarding the CCL tear, discussing a different surgical technique called the TPLO surgery. It will discuss its potential complications and aftercare involved. Thank you so much for your time. I hope these videos will add to your current understanding of this condition in dogs and allow you to make an informed decision regarding your pet's care. Remember to always follow the recommendations of your veterinarian or veterinary specialist closely. Please show your support by subscribing, hitting that like button, and sharing the video with others. This is Dr. Shadia Rafish, and I thank you again for watching.